Hello sa iyong nanonood nito ngayon. Thank you for clicking my video. Hindi ko na patatagalin kasi alam kong gusto mo nang matuto kung paano gumawa ng YouTube channel art or banner. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed, please be advised that this tutorial involves using a laptop or desktop. Siguro next video ko na yung para sa mga gumagamit lang ng cellphone. Pero kung interesado ka pa rin malaman kung paano ako nagde-design ng channel banners, please do keep on watching. First off, ano nga bang ginagamit ko pang edit? Ang ginagamit ko po ay Canva at Photoshop. Punta ka lang sa canva.com para maka-access. While for Adobe Photoshop, kailangan install siya sa laptop or desktop mo. Kung wala ka pang installed sa computer mo, nasa description box na yung link ng tutorial kung paano ko na-download yung ginagamit ko. Ngayon na alam niyo na kung ano yung ginagamit ko, so paano nga ba ako nag edit Actually, sobrang simple lang ako kung gumawa ng design. For some people who follow me in my social media accounts, or friends ko sa FB, or at least nakakakita ng post ko sa FB groups, mas madalas ako gumawa ng typography. Mahilig kasi ako mag-mix and match ng mga fonts. At dahil channel art serves as your welcome banner for your channel visitors, it should contain who you are and or what you will be about. Just an important detail to mention before we continue. Ang perfect size kasi ng banner ay 2560 by 1440. May iba iba kasing view for different gadgets. Pag sa TV, ganito ang itsura niya. Pag naman sa computer, ganito. Pag sa tablet or mobile, ganito naman siya. If you create a banner that is outside this box, magiging putol ang design ng banner mo. If you will look at mine, sobrang simple lang. Just my channel name and my topics. As in, parang tarpaulin lang ng isang tindahan na may pangalan ko at listahan ng mga tinitinda ko. Napakadali gawin. Sa Photoshop ko, tinipe yung YouTube channel name at topics ko so I can create white borders sa pinaka-text. Pag sa Canva kasi walang ganung option. I first choose the color and font I want. I usually mix cursive or brush fonts with serif or sans serif fonts. Tapos nilalagyan ko ng border na white instead of a shadow para mas mag stand out. Besides, uso naman sa YouTube ang ganung designs, ba? Diba? When I'm done, I save it as PNG file para transparent ang background. Saka ko pupunta sa canva.com at i-upload ko doon yung sinave kong file. Nandun kasi yung pinaka-template ko for YouTube banners. Ilalagay ko na lang din sa description box yung downloadable template para may kopya ka din. Doon sa Canva ko na rin kinuha yung background ko and for some reason, I'm quite obsessed with white wood kaya yan ang napili ko for my channel. Anyway, sa paglalagay ng background ko sa pinaka-template, I unlock the template guide first by clicking on it tsaka yung lock button dito. Tapos delete twice. Then click ko lang yung background na gusto ko. Automatic na mapupunta na yun as background. Pero gusto ko parang mas whiter yung background. I will choose color white sa color option of the image. Then I add a shape that will cover the entire background. I change the shape's color to white at bababaan ko yung opacity down to 66%. Isiset backwards ko yung white big box para umangat yung small white box sa gitna. Yan yung area na swak o sakto sa view ng isang smartphone kaya mas better na within that area lang nakalagay yung pinaka text or pinaka design. Pagtapos ko na iset up sa box, isaset backward ko na ulit yung layer para umangat yung box. Pag nakaangat na yung box, ikiklik ko at i-unlock ko para madelete. Ayan na, meron na akong perfectly sized YouTube banner na sakto sa lahat ng view. Mapa TV, computer, or cellphone. Ganun lang kasimple, pero paano ko nga ba ginagawa yung iba na may images or designs pa nakasama sa banner? I get backgrounds, clip arts, or vectors through Canva or through Google Images. I always find the ones with clear or transparent backgrounds, pero kung wala, at least white or solid color backgrounds para mas madali siya tanggalin gamit ang Photoshop. I'm honestly still learning how to use pen tool. Marami nakapagsabi na pinaka-best and easiest way daw siya sa pagtanggal ng mga backgrounds. Pero for now, I'm more comfortable using the polygonal lasso tool. Kasi parang nagtitrace lang ako to select the parts I want to cut out from the image. Pagtapos na ako mag-cut out ng mga images na gusto ko isama sa design, I put it together dun sa mga text na nagawa ko na. Pinagsasama-sama ko siya through Photoshop first, then save it as PNG file. 
clear background lang ulit. Tapos pupunta na ako sa Canva para ilagay sa template. Say for example na may background na gagamitin sa banner na wala sa Canva. Click ko lang yung mismong template at i-unlock ko siya. Then I simply upload the chosen background and drag it inside the template. Madali lang ba? Here are some of the examples I made for some of the YouTubers from the VYP group in Facebook. Abigail Twason. She's more into beauty content which made me choose this particular vector art to go with her banner. As for the font, ako din yung pumili. Feel ko lang bagay tong font na to sa vector art at sa type of content Abigail produces. A legendary, when I first visited the channel, gets ko na agad yung gusto kong i-design for the banner. Since the kid is into piano, I searched for a font that has the look of a piano key and this is the closest I found. Then I included this clip art I got from Google. Erin Margaret, super cute princess so I chose to design her banner na dapat kasama talaga yung cute face niya. I had to make her background colorful kasi nga bata tapos babae pa. As for the font, I chose something as straightforward as this para easier mabasa. Jackie Films channel naman is all about beauty and cosmetics also. Kaya ito yung napili kong vector art. Not that colorful kasi yung thumbnails ng existing videos niya ay hindi rin naman ganun ka-colorful. So, hindi ako sure kung kasing kikay siya ni Abigail. So, I chose a more neutral color. Next is John Mesia. Makeup artist siya kaya naisip ko agad na dapat clean and neat lang yung pinaka-banner niya. Hindi kailangan masyadong ma-design since ang dapat i-highlight is his name which would eventually be his brand name as a makeup artist. Tapos, dinagdagan ko lang ng glam shot niya at yung social media accounts niya like in his previous design. As for Casey Puno naman, she already has this existing simple banner but I noticed it was blurred probably because of the wrong resolution or size of the image. I wanted to keep the theme the same kasi it fits perfectly sa avatar niya so inayos ko lang. Naghanap lang ako ng font that would fit her personality and include the basic topics she talks about in her channel. When I made the post in the VYP group wall, I asked them to leave their channels together with their channel topics. Keza Vlogs mentioned about baking, life, and everything under the sun daw yung content niya. Since baking ang una niyang na-mention, naisip ko agad yung baking apron. So I went to search Google. At ito na nga yung napili kong design na isasama sa banner niya. Kinuha ko na lang rin yung mga color scheme or combination from the source of the clip art. Kay Marigold naman, inayos ko lang din yung meron na siya. Parang in-upgrade ko lang. When I was finding a background similar to her existing banner, I found this image that looks somewhat like her YouTube video backgrounds. Kaya ito na lang din yung pinili ko. I chose a cutesy font because she's also cute like that. Tsaka nilagay ko na lang yung focus ng content niya. Rives Moto Vlog has a perfectly sized banner. However, I felt that it doesn't truly relate to his content kasi Moto Vlog siya. Pero parang pang anime or gaming yung pinaka banner niya. So, I designed his banner this way. Nakuha ko lang sa Google yung motorbike rider image and search a font that will somewhat fit the theme. As for the colors, I used the same colors from his existing banner. Last but not the least, Rigi Maliari. Actually, I just added his name on his existing banner to make sure his channel visitors know kung sino siya. I use the words travel through instead of using travel with kasi for me ha, as his viewer, parang nakakapunta o travel na rin ako sa lugar na featured niya sa channel niya through his wonderful videos. Let's have a quick recap of their before and after designs.
So there you go, ganun lang po ako gumawa ng channel art designs. It just so happened I have some knowledge with Adobe Photoshop, pero for new users, don't worry. Trust me, madali lang siya gamitin. You just have to learn it. There are several tutorials across YouTube na pwede niyong panoorin to guide you with the software. Diyan lang rin naman ako halos natuto. If you're watching this video up until this point, I'm offering a free channel art design for you. Yun ay kung gusto mo lang naman. Comment below a short description of your channel plus your email address where I can send the designs once done. Pero teka ha, simply lang po yung magagawa ko so please don't expect too much. But I hope you'd like it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video today. If you have, please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you wish to be notified sa mga susunod ko pang upload, please do click that subscribe and bell button para wala ka nang mamiss na update. Salamat ulit and see you in my next video. Bye! Who you will be about? Mali. Quite obsessed with white wood recently. Bakit nabubunol ako sa part na yun? Okay. I first choose making life Ah! <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>